Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. I'm your sister, Taisha, here with a quick prophetic word, really straight to the point. It's a word where you're going to have to kind of do your homework. I'm not going to read it because it'll take up too much time. But it's referenced from Deuteronomy chapter 28, the whole chapter. And in that chapter, it's pretty much talking about you have a blessed end and you have a cursed end. And what God gave it to me to tell you in like a simple term, in short term, is that you have a win and you have a loss. So you know how it feels to take losses. I know some of you have dealt with a person and when they came into your life, it was a loss. You lost out more than you gained. Some of you have came into situations where you were blessed. You stepped into the right spot or you came around the right person or you were just in that right place and you were blessed. So you know the difference is when you know the difference in being blessed and you know the difference in taking a loss. When you go against God and you just do whatever you want to do, you put yourself in a place where you're going to take a loss. So even when you think you're winning, even when you think you're getting away with something, you're really not getting away with anything because you're cursing your own self because of what you're doing that's against God. So that is the tail end of what, what it's all about when you decide to do you. But on the head's end, when you are committed to the Lord and at least trying to keep his commandments and spending that time with him and having a relationship with him in the spite of your hiccups, you come on the side of being blessed. And what I want all y'all to be is blessed. And I speak that we are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. But God has to, he has to warn you and let you know that you have to obey him and be obedient to him in order to stay in that blessed place with him. If not, you bring yourself on the losing end. And the losing end is when you're doing stuff you don't got no business doing and it leads you to taking losses. And for anybody that has taken a loss, you know how they go. You know how it go when you at one point in time is on and everything is going good and then you mix up with the wrong crowd, uh, get involved with the wrong people or the wrong situation or you compromise yourself in some kind of way, your relationship with God. And then now you're taking a loss. Now you're delayed. Now you're held up. So that's what God is saying through Deuteronomy chapter 28. But I want you to read it to get the biblical understanding, so therefore you can understand what I just said. I'm just breaking it down and letting you know that you can win or you can lose. Don't waste your time taking a lot of losses when you can be on the winning team and be with God and you know you're going to be blessed. You know you don't got to worry about because it's far more curses come against you than blessings. When you're blessed, you just blessed and everything that you do is simple. But when you curse, it's like so much more in Deuteronomy 28 on the cursed side versus the blessed side. So that's what God is bringing to you today. Today, he just letting you know, choose to win. Never just on purposely sign up to take a loss. Don't sign up to take a loss. Not on purpose.